Cool Sign. Hey guys, it's Technation Tutorials with uh, another video tutorial. Um, as you see, I'm starting off on my phone today. So we're going to be cracking in-app purchases for the game Paper Toss 2. Um, the first thing we got to do to do this is go ahead and open up our Play Store. So let me go ahead and find this. Uh, you do not need a rooted device to do this, but my device is rooted. Uh, but like I said, you won't need one. So the first app you're going to search for is called App Backup and restore. Uh, let's see if that comes up and restore and that should pop up and this may take a while sorry it's because I'm recording my phone runs a little slow when I'm recording but um, there'll be a link for this app in the description of the video so go ahead and download that um, I hope this loads here pretty soon. Okay, so, um, once you have done that, uh, it has come up, so I'm just gonna go back and open my store, sorry. Um, there it is, right there, app backup and restore, it's free. Just go ahead and open that and install it. It's gonna ask you to hit OK for the permissions, and just hit accept. And that's gonna start downloading. And then the second app you're going to need is obviously Paper Toss 2. You can go ahead and download this directly from the App Store. So let's go ahead and hit install. And this is once again going to ask you for, uh, once again, I'm going to ask you to OK its permissions. So um, let's go ahead and wait for that. And then just hit OK. Um, my permissions might unload because once again, I am recording. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pause, hit OK on my permissions, and come back to you once these two apps have downloaded. Alrighty guys, so as you see, I've downloaded those two. I have APK, or App Backup, Restore, and Paper Toss. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit App Backup and Restore, and this is going to launch it. Um, it's going to say apps are not found. Uh, just hit no on that. And what it's going to do is we're going to load all the apps on your device and we're going to download we're going to download or we're going to back up actually uh, Paper Toss 2 and we're just going to hit back up and mine's going to finish really fast because I've already backed it up but once you have backed it up uh, if we open up your file manager open up your SD card you see there's going to be a folder that says app backup and restore and that AP or S dot A Paper Toss 2 is actually the modded copy that we're making uh, I may, I'm making this part after the tutorial, so but you don't even know that. So, but that's the paper toss two right there. That's the whoop, that's the regular copy, and that's the co copy we're going to be copying onto our file computer and modifying, and then making this one. So, um, there you guys go, and uh, we're going to go ahead and get over to the computer and start editing that file. Alrighty guys, we're over here at the computer, and what we're going to do now is we're going to go copy that APK file that we backed up, and we're going to go into our device, and into App Backup Restore, and we'll go ahead and going to copy that APK. Now, uh, in the download link, there's going to be a, uh, a download called APK Tool and that's what we're going to use to decompile and recompile the APKs after we're done modding it and I have placed mine in C, you can go ahead and do the same uh, it's just in a zip, just go ahead and unzip it and once we've done that, just go ahead and place that APK file inside just the main directory of APK tool now what I always like to do is I like to rename it because sometimes APK tool has a problem with the name and it will give you an error so I'm just going to rename it PT2 for Paper Toss 2 and once we've done that we're going to go ahead and open up our uh, command prompt one second okay so once we've copied and replaced the name we're going to go ahead and, like I said and open up the command prompt this should be in here just go ahead and open it. You don't have to run it as administrator. 
and this should automatically bring you into CAPK and that's why I recommend uh, putting it in here actually I might actually have it set to open no I don't have it set to maybe I'm not sure I might have it set to open it's the current directory but I'm pretty sure I have it set to open C APK tool so uh, just unzip APK tool into your C or hard drive or whatever and then uh, if you don't have like your hard drive C you might need to go right click on command properties and see where it says start in change that to your current directory since oop, since uh, let's see since I'm starting it in obviously C APK I have mine set to C and then APK but once we have this launched um, we're just gonna decompile this APK and the way we do that is you go APK tool and that's the command and then D for decompile and then the APK name so ours is PT2 and then dot APK and that should just go ahead and start running as you see here and that's going to create a folder called uh, paper toss 2 and it's going to start decompiling our APK um, this can take a couple of minutes depending on how fast or slow your computer is um, I'm just going to go ahead and pause here and I will bring you back when it's fully decompiled okay so the APK file is uh, done decompiling and how we know that is it in the command prompt it, op it opens us a new line so that we can write code so I'm just going to go CLS and that's just going to clear the list okay now what we're really focused on is um, this right here so you're going to need a win 7 you don't need I use WinRAR so if you have one of those two you're fine and notepad plus plus once again all the download links should be in the description for notepad plus plus this APK tool and I think that's it if there's any more they'll be down there so go ahead and open up the file that it decompiled to and as you see we have all these folders now you can go into resources and drawables and you can edit um, loading screens icons exit buttons so on and so forth you can just replace them as their current name keep the name so you don't have to rewrite any of the code and then uh, you can also change the logos now if you change a logo in here though uh, make sure you change them in all of them because there are different sizes for each different type of device depending on their screen revolution and but since this is an uh, in-app purchases crack what we're going to be working on our smile or this smiles folder or whatever the hell it's called um, so what we're going to do is we're going to want to open Notepad++. So I'm just going to go ahead and open Notepad++ here. And once this is open, um, here in a second, go ahead and minimize that as well. Let's see just how far we are. Let's see when it's time. Okay, we're only at four. Okay. All right. Well, that's for the computer part. Okay, so um, once we're in here, we're just going to go ahead and hit Control F, and that's going to bring up our find menu, and we're going to find a variable called result underscore OK, all in caps, and we're going to find fi or find in files, and within the directory, we want to change that to the APK tool, will be or the APK will be modding, which in my case is... Uh, paper toss 2 and we want to create it or select that directory right there so once we've created or selected that directory we can just go ahead and hit find all now this is gonna basically freeze up your computer pretty bad because it's searching all the files so don't click on notepad plus plus or don't click anything to do with notepad because it will just not respond um, well, at least that's in my case because I only have 2 gigs of RAM and not a very decent processor. It's good enough to do what I need to do for now. But um, yeah, just don't click on that, and that should go ahead and do everything. And it's going to come up with variables. Now, what we're doing is we're searching for a variable result OK. And this result is found within certain files. And the only reason this result would be returned is to echo a OK result, such as a purchase or something like that. Now, 
the file we're going to be looking for, I'm going to go ahead and call this just, this is version 2, because there's two different ways of cracking uh, in-app purchases. I will show you guys version 1. I just want to do this one because it's a little longer. We're going to be looking for a file that says cache purchase ob server. And um, basically, it might not have that cache sign, but basically, we're looking for ob server or purchase ob server. Res uh, yeah. And we're going to go inside the very first line. So, to do that, we just go over to the end of the code and double click. Now, that opens this file. And as you see, we have a bunch of JavaScript. Okay, so now this is how this. Uh, crack actually works is this is the result for okay so if the purchase goes through and everything's okay it's going to run all this stuff but we need to crack this we need to change this so the first thing we're going to do is we see this line right here if not equals p2 then v1 then we're pushing the command v1 into this variable. So we're going to go ahead and just delete that. Now, delete the variable, but leave the lines. See how I left three lines there and I just deleted the variable? Sometimes if you don't, if you delete the line, it will come up as an error. So just leave that line in there. And then we're going to scroll down a little bit and we're going to try to find that con one or con zero. And then that will become, that will just be deleted. As you see there, we're still going to keep that line though. And then we're going to go down a little bit further and until we find another construct variable. So, right here, if not equal p2 v1, then come, uh, this 2, we want to change that to 1. And then we scroll down until we find, we call upon this command. And we want to change the call upon, we want to call upon 0. And what we're doing is this is if the result user canceled. So this is if you re, re, you re, uh, this is if you cancel the purchase. So what we're doing is when you cancel the purchase, we're making it think that the purchase went through instead of canceling. And then once we've done that, basically all we need to do is got to go back in here and change all these variables. So change this to one. Change all the variables to one number below that. So since that was 2, we changed it to 1. Since this is 3, we change it to 2. And then we change this one to 2. And then we change this one to 3. And then we continue going down. And then we change this one to 3. So on and so forth. So 5 to 4. 4 to, or, I think that might be all, wait, no, never mind. So once again, 5 to 4, keep going down, 6 to 5, and this is the last one, and then 5, and that's where we're going to end, we don't, it's going to have another variable, like uh, if con 1, we don't want to change that to 0, so we stop here, we stop at result error. So if you, when you see that line, just go ahead and stop modifying the file. And uh, once we've changed all those variables, it's done. It's really that pretty basically that easy. Uh, this is for once again purchase OBO server script. Um, I will show you uh, the second or the version one or how to do it. But um, once you've saved that, just go ahead and exit out of that and go ahead and open this. And I'm going to see how much time okay um, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here since we've done modified the file come back to part two where we're gonna be de or building the APK and then signing it and then we'll put it on the device and we'll show you that it uh, that in a purchase or have been cracked so uh, please like rate and subscribe it really helps me out guys I really do appreciate it let's try to get this video to like 120 likes that would be freaking magnificent so, um, remember, I'm trying to help you guys, so please try to help me, you know, and, uh, I'll see you guys in part two.